the silver mark of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara, like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara, to be king of the bush, his destiny. And veins through the mist and ancient trees runs the ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara, and the king, yes, the king. The alpine dawn heralds a crisp new day. The air is fresh with an invigorating edge and the birds and animals feel from the rays of the sun that the day will be hot and still. For the wild mountain horses, it's a time to bathe and frolic and roll and enjoy their freedom. Thaura and his brother Storm and no exceptions. But even they have to be wary of the ever-present danger of man. The man is stirring early. Oh, it might be a good day to head for the ram's head. What do you think, Thara? 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 This is pretty stupid, Thara. Ah, oh, you worry too much, Storm. I know what I'm doing. You know this man won't rest until he's captured you. What the... Out of my way. Out of my way. A traffic jam. This time of the morning, clear the path, I say. Just a minute, Wombat. Young animals these days have no respect for other people's business. It's way past me bedtime. <laughs> Out of my way. <laughs> oh! Let that be a lesson, do ya? Keep out of the way or you'll get hurt. Watch out ahead. Wombat coming through. <laughs> oh, this isn't funny, Sarah. Yes, it is. Now, what were you saying? What I was trying to say is... Oh, keep out of trouble. <laughs> Perhaps you should take some of your own advice. <laughs> Come on, Storm. It was just a nip. What'll you be like if you ever get into a fight with a stallion? Oh, better than you if you get into a fight with a man and his black horse. <laughs> <laughs> this is our country, Storm, and I know it backwards. Pardon me, son of Yaraman. I have heard tales of this black horse from my cousins in the lowlands. He is the fastest and strongest stock horse in the district and knows the high country as well as his owner. You'd do well to keep your wits about you. Thank you for the advice, Mrs Dingo. I don't mean to sound brash, but I do have the eyes and ears of the bush on my side. And you will need them, for there is talk among the cattle of another Brumby hunt. Then we'll be on our guard and on our way. Thank you. They're pretty nervous, aren't they, Echo? Oh, boy. Relax. Relax. You hungry? Oh, relax. That's it. Good boy. Eat up. It's all right, boy. I'm not going to hurt you. See? See? He knows. Plenty of good food. No more foraging. No need to be scared. It's nice, isn't it? That's it, boy. Just relax. Tomorrow I'll start the search for your silver maned friend. The handsome devil won't get away from me this time. Don't 
trouble can come with man. He's looking for tracks. Young horses who get too cocky find their future rather rocky. Mopoke, Mopoke. Quite finished, Mopoke. Thank you. Sorry, Echo. The going was rougher than I thought. <sighs> was that your idea of keeping out of danger, Thara? <laughs> Relax, Brother Storm. If I don't test my skills against him and his black horse when I can control it, Storm, how will I ever know if I can defeat him when there's real danger? <laughs> Anyway, if I keep beating the man, maybe he and his friends won't try to hunt us. Come on, Thara. <sighs> Men have been hunting us since they first came to the high country. Why you take such risks, I don't... Because know. Thara likes to show off Storm, so the fillies will fall in love with him and the other cults will think he's brave. What he does is easy. Anyone can do it. He just makes it look hard. If you so... think that, Arrow, then you're a bigger fool than you you're appear. You're just scared that I would do better than you. Let's see who's best. Let's challenge the man well, now. Where's the sport in that? His horse is lame. Even Wombat could beat him in a chase now. You're a coward, Thaura. And a show-off. I've got better things to do than listen to this rubbish. Me too. Coward, coward, Thaura is a coward. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm sure they're friends of Arrow's. Mm, you remember the one the Saltman captured last week? In that hunt when Clever Arrow... When Clever and Handsome Arrow skillfully managed to escape the men's trap and... Stop! Now get back to Rocky and Woomera. Fancy them still being in the high country and at Dead Horse Hut. A dead horse hut? Yes, and they must be enjoying it. They already seem quite tame. I suppose they must be pack horses. Mm, there he goes, their freedom. <gasps> Such a pity. My sentiments exactly. Enough, I... you two. Now give me a moment to think. Maybe we should tell Thara about this. That's it. Good boy. Trot out. That's it. Nice and smooth. Good boy. Poor Rocky and Woomera. I'll have to rescue them. You may be too late, Arrow. <laughs> Your friends are becoming too used to the ways of man. The men don't worry me. If Thara can outfox the men, so can I. Don't be so sure. It's easy. I'll take them by surprise. <laughs> oh. Pups. 
Rocky, Woomera! Rocky, Woomera, what are you doing? I came to rescue you. Break free! Break... Yeah! Those rocks! Storm! Storm! Quick! We've got to get out of here! The men! Yeah. What have you done now, Arrow? No time to explain! Hurry! Let's just get out the other end of this valley! There isn't one! And you've left us no time to trick our way out! Run for it! Gather round, everyone, gather round. Have we got some news for you? Yes, have we got some news? <laughs> Get out of here, you scatterbrain. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way, boss. Almighty and magnificent Bralga. Get that rubbish out of the way. I've got the latest news. <laughs> The men captured Arrow and Storm. <laughs> Serves those damn young idiots right. That Arrow is a fool. Pity that insolent Thaura wasn't captured too. Alas, sire, he wasn't with them. Uh... Hey! Hey, what about me? Get me out of here! Get me out of here! According to the Karawal, Thara wasn't with them. Gang, gangs. Quiet. Thank you. This is dreadful news, Boon Boon. Arrow is ruled by many things, but never his brain. You're right. We better let Thara know. Hopefully he'll know what to do. Just pretend they aren't here. Well, I'm not talking to them. Some friends they turned out to be. It's not their fault. The man... <laughs> Arrow? <gasps> There's the Brolga's spy. He mustn't see you with us, Boon Boon. Moop! 
poke, mo poke, master stroke. Thar is going to break their yo. Very clever, mo poke, but how? Mo poke, mo poke, don't ask me. You're the horse. You get them free. <laughs> Great, thanks a lot. That was a terrific help, mo poke. Well, we can't just leave them there. If they were kangaroos, they could just hop out. Well, that's not a lot of help either, Benny. I thought you were the wisest creature in the high country. Usually. Thara? It's the hobbles that are the problem. If we could just... Ow! <sighs> not again. No consideration. Just no consideration. Off to dinner. Another traffic jam. Out of my way. Out of my way. Or I'll bite this one like I bit the other one. Now look here, Wombat. You're not the only animal in the bush. These paths are forever... You're right. Good Wombat. We shall clear your path. But first, let's talk. I think you might be our answer. Mm. What was the question? You see, wise and worthy Wombat, we need your help. No. Out of the question. Absolutely not. But you don't know what we want yet. Can't be done. Dinner to be got, mouths to be fed. But Wombat... So you see, you're the only one who can help. All right. All right. Just stop the charm and the nagging. I can't stand charm and nagging. I'll have to check it out first, though. Not committing myself till I see what the job's like. Can't be done. Take too long. What if there were others? Possible. Very possible. But not possible. Why ever not? Oh, too much bother. Oh, please, Wombat. I might have to start charming and nagging you again. Stop! Stop! Hold your horses, anything but that. <laughs> hold your horses. <laughs> it's not bad, eh? Very good. Hey, hold your horses there. Dear, wonderful, amazing Wombat. OK, please. OK. I'm going. I'm going. Wrong way, Wombat. And be careful. <laughs> Keep quiet. Keep still, all of you horses. To work, wombats. Is anything happening? It just looks normal down there. Is it boy? Oh, that was close. They've started again. I think I can make out Wombat near Storm's legs. I don't think they've started on Arrow yet. Maybe I should have got Wombat to leave the hobbles on Arrow, teach him a lesson for being so stupid. Arrow may do some foolish things, Thara, but you must admit, he did care enough about his friends to try and rescue them. I know, Boon Boon. It, it's just... Well, he's just so frustrating at times. Keep still, Arrow. He'll wake the black horse and he'll wake the man. Then we'll be no better off. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Wombat. Wombat? Wombat? Well done, Wombat. How can we ever thank you? Terrific job, Wombat. We knew you could do it. 
dreadful nuisance. No time for idle gossip. I've got to get something to eat. Mm, out of the way. Out of the way. Your friends are not free yet, Thara. I think I have a plan. I'm not going to get to see your plan in action, Thara. I've got to get back to the herd before my father sees that I'm missing. Well, you better be quick, Boon Boon. And thanks. Storm and Arrow would be gone for sure if it hadn't been for you. I really must go. Bye, Thara. Bye, Benny. Storm! Arrow! Quick jump! That's my horse! That's the Silver Colt! Don't let him get away! Follow me! Rocky! Wubbera! Thara, Storm, washing off the scent of man? <laughs> I never want to get that close to humans again in my life. Then heed the law of the bush. Keep out of the way of man. All right, Benny, you've made your point. What's wrong with Arrow? He's not talking to us. He's weird, that cult. You'd think after Thara saved Not weird, him... Storm, just embarrassed and humiliated. He was trying to prove he was better than Thara and then had to be rescued by him. It doesn't make him too proud of himself. I don't think we've heard the last of it. Nor do I, Thara. But we grow by understanding others. And in so doing... Proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And a king, yes, a king he will be. Legends are like plants. They grow from tiny seeds. A deed, an action. A piece of news, a piece of gossip is passed from one to another. With each telling, it grows. Other stories join the first stories and then more. A strange mixture of the fantastic and the real. But legends are the stuff of hope, the stuff of dreams. In the high country and nearby lands, there was one legend bigger than all others. Where do you journey, old and wise sister? I travel north, far north, many more days, to the distant mountains to find a future king. Why? 
to see if the stories about him are true, and to decide if he is a king we southern Brumbies would want to respect and have as our king. Then I wish you a safe journey. And I you. You're a long way from home. Can I be of any help? I've come to find the horse who was born on the wind. The legend in my country tells of a ghostly spirit who melts into the snow and mist of the high country. It tells of bravery and of honour, and that this horse will one day be king of all the Brumbies. I have been sent to see if this legend is real. Oh, it's real, all right. The horse you're searching for is Thaura. His name means wind, and sometimes he's so fast it's like he's flying with the wind itself. Wise Benny and I have watched him since he was a foal, born in a storm and destined for greatness, at home in the elements, at one with the high country. In the morning mist or the wild whiteness of winter, as real as can be, but to the humans, a ghost and a legend. The legend you've heard is real enough. Can you take me to him? I'm sorry, no. He won't let you find him unless he wants to meet you. If you come as a friend, you must make your intentions clear. They say the bush has ears. Thara will hear about it. Thanks, Mrs. Dingo. Good advice is always welcome. I come as a friend. Goodbye, and good luck. It's quite amazing, really. Oh, truly amazing. You might even say astonishing. I'd say astonishing. Astonishing. There, I've said it. Here one minute. Gone the next. Banished. Then back. No man can catch him. Or woman. Or woman. Quite so. Never caught. Never will be. As simple as that. Fast and furious. Oh, clever and capable. Tricky. Oh, yes. Tricky and elusive. Quite so. Definitely elusive. Thank you. Um, I come as a friend. As a friend? Very wise, very wise. Sensible. Wouldn't want to come as an enemy. Vanquished. Poof! Like that. Vanquished by Thara. Mm, defeated. Beaten. Sent backing. Enemies are, aren't they? Yes, indeed. Next question. I was hoping to meet him. Can't say, won't say, don't know. Mm, mustn't say. Damn say. Do know, but won't tell. Oh, I give up. Oh, don't give up. Come back. We haven't finished yet. We haven't told you about the time Thara captured the man. Yeah, and his giant leap. Or the time he rescued Golden. Or oh, the lost children in the snow. And the time he battled the beast. Oh, yes. You should have seen him. Golden's still here. <laughs> of course she's still here. Why are you here? I came to see if she's all right. Of course she's all right. I've been keeping an eye on her. The man's been tending to her. <laughs> Go and see for yourself. Talk to her even. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just making sure the man's not about. Well, he isn't. Well, I want to be quite sure. <laughs> typical, typical. That'd be right. You don't trust me. Don't listen to what I have to say. Oh, I do, Wombat, always. But another few moments won't make too much difference. <laughs> Nobody ever listens to old Wombat. Not him. Greetings, wise one. I have come to meet with Thaura, and I... I know, sister. I can't lead you to him. If he wants to see you, then you will see him. So I'm told. 
I will wait. Perhaps your patience will be rewarded. In the meantime, I have come to warn you. You are alone in the territory of the feared and fearsome Brolga. Your own mate is too far away to protect you here. Don't worry. I'll take care. Hmm. Oh, it's so good to see you, Thaura. And you, Golden. You look so much better. Oh, the man has been very kind and caring. I still think of that terrible beast and how frightened I was. But the wounds are nearly healed. Then come back and join us. I can't. I've thought about it a lot since I've been here chewing on the sweet hay. Do you remember the first night we met? Thaura? Come with me. Leave the men behind. You're one of us. Thaura, I want to. There's nothing I've longed for more, but I've been with the men all my life. We can chase the wind and run the high country together. No man ever on your back, no ties. Just free. It's what I heard you wanted. Quick, Golden, jump! Follow me, now! Steady, girl. Take it easy. He'll be back, and I'll be ready. <laughs> I remember it well, but what I difference... I realize that things haven't changed since then. I've been around humans all my life. I can't change. But, Golden, you... The time I spent with you and Boon Boon and the herd have been the happiest, freest. But I wasn't brought up in the high country. I'm still a stranger to its ways. I know that now. You all tried to teach me, but whenever danger threatened, I... I return to the soft comfort and protection of the man. But there's still time to learn, Golden. I'm better off with the man. We both know that. And the herd is better off, safer, without me. Thank you for your love, and for giving me the taste of freedom I yearn so long for. But it's, it's best this way. You go back to the herd, Thaura. And remember me fondly. Please. Quite sure about this, Karawang? Oh, as sure as I am about your mighty powerfulness. <laughs> your mighty powerfulness, sir. Uh, a strange brumby from far away. In my territory. Alone. Looking for a king. Uh. Yes, your often sought afterness. I'd better go see what this is all about. <laughs> Whatever takes your fancy, your inestimable bountifulness. Planning your death in the near future? Oh, certainly not your seeming omnipotence. Then get your claws out of my neck! Uh, what? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, your heavy quadrufootedness. Mopoke, Mopoke. Gentle Mopoke, greetings to you. Greeting also, welcome, stranger. Ooh, ooh, that noise I hear just might mean danger. That noise speaks of someone who's arrogant and unfeeling. I've dealt with that sort of overconfidence before. I'll be fine. The Brolga's charm is often lacking. Give him hell. Send him packing. <laughs> 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 Excuse me, 
I don't think you realize it, but uh, someone very important is standing right behind you. I have been told you seek the king. Your search is ended. I am the king of all the Cascade Brumbies. <laughs> I think you must be having a joke with me. I don't see a king. I only see a rude, clumsy, noisy horse who intrudes on the solitude of his equal. Uh, 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 you shouldn't have said that! <laughs> Grumbling granite head! I told you you shouldn't have said that! Roaring doesn't impress me, Brolga. I'm looking for someone wise, swift, and silent. Someone beloved by all the animals for his kindness and consideration. Someone admired for his cleverness and beauty. Oh, that sounds like Thaura. <laughs> How dare you come into my territory uninvited and speak to me like that? How dare you try and bully a stranger? I am the king! I am the leader! I defeated Thaura's father. I will defeat him. The time has come to deal with that cocky cult before he gets too big for his boats. So late for that. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't heard the last of this, and that's a promise. Oh, book, oh, book. Nicely handled, nicely done. The war's not lost, this battle's won. Thank you, Mopoke. Just say that I'm not disturbed again. <laughs> Tell me of Thaura. Do you know him well, Mopoke? Know him well? He's like a son. He takes my advice to get things done. Mopok, Mopok. <sighs> Make sure before you leap that the man is still and quite asleep. Thanks, Mopok. That's exactly what I'm doing. Just before your mind goes snap, just think the man has laid a trap. I am being careful. Oh yes, Thara and I have been in many a fray, but now it's time to be away. A leader who takes care and heeds advice is a wise leader indeed. Farewell, Mopoke. Mopoke, Mopoke. I heard you wanted to meet me, Alinga. Oh, Thara. Thank you for seeing me. What can I do for you? For me? Nothing. I have seen what I came to see. The legend is real. And you will become king of the land you love, Thaura. That is my vow. But you make it sound as if it'll definitely happen. It will. I am old, Thaura. I have learnt the wisdom of the bush. Knowledge of the future has always been with me. And you'll find the Brolga back with you very smartly. <laughs> Benny, it's good to see you. Ah, we meet again. I've been talking with Thaura of his future. I predict a golden one. Yes, I can well believe that. I've watched you with pride these last few years, Thaura. Seen you put your mother's teachings to good use. Seen you learn to be at one with the bush, to move more silently than any other horse. Seen you win the respect and love of all the bush animals. Seen the strengthening of your friendships with Boon Boon and Storm, and how their support has helped you grow into the fine young horse you now are. I must say, there were times I doubted you. He said he'd be here. No sense of time, these young Brumbies. 
We'll give him a few more minutes, Silky, and then we'll head down while we still can. Hi, Benny. Hi, Silky. Thanks for waiting to say goodbye. We couldn't have waited much longer, Thara. Our friends are well and truly below the snow line by now. I'm sorry, Benny, Silky. I, I lost track of time. You'd best be going. If the snow gets heavier, you'll be stuck here for the whole of winter. <coughs> Bye, Thara. Enjoy your winter safety. Thanks, Benny. But my doubts now are past. Now I'm proud of you. Benny, thank you. But this is all a bit him. Hear me out, Thara. Oh, don't we always? If Alinga is right about your future, then you must earn your destiny. Man will always be a threat to your freedom while you taunt him with your courage and daring. And the Brolga won't relinquish his title without a fight. I'm afraid I might have added to your troubles with the Brolga, Thara. He left here very angry and threatened. No battle with the Brolga yet, Thara. You're still too young, and he's heavier and too experienced. Over here, boss! Aye! Right. i better make myself scarce. Here he is! Go get him! Keep your wits about you, Thara! While you can, Thara, but don't fall in a heap. That nasty Brolga's about to try that giant leap. Bravo, Super Sire! <laughs> Go get him! Uh -oh. It's time for me to go back to my own country, to tell them what I saw and what I learned. You'll soon be our king too, Thaura, and you'll have our respect as you have here in your own land. Goodbye, Benny. I have enjoyed your wisdom. Goodbye, Thaura. You have won my love. Goodbye, Alinga. I hope we meet again. So Thara earned the love of even more bush creatures, and his fame and legend spread far from the high country. But Thara was not yet king. Don't worry, boss. You'll get him next time. <laughs> Th 
Thara had some more growing up to do and much more to learn and many adventures to be had before that great day arrived.